Right, well this is the second part of my um, tutorials video and as you can see this one's on useful programs. But before I go on there's a site that you need to look at really and that's uh, www.aminet.net. Now this site is basically an archive site for the Amiga programs and they've pretty much got every single Amiga program that's ever been released past or present for the Amiga on this big massive archive basically. So no matter what program you could possibly want for your Amiga you're going to find it on this site. So that's aminet.net. So if you want a program go go to that site basically. Okay so here I've got six programs. They're the most important programs I think you're going to need. There are other programs and um, if I get a chance and if I find any new ones I shall do a video on those at a later date. Um, so first up sysinfo basically gives you a lot of information about your Amiga. So for example if you've got an accelerator card like I have and you want to and you want to know how fast it is compared to a stock Amiga then it, it will tell you that. So I, I find it a really interesting but also quite a useful program. Um, the second um, program I want to go on about is IDE Fix. Um, this program basically lets you um, install software that will let you run your uh, CD-ROM, whether it's internal or external. So if you want to put a CD-ROM on your Amiga then it's a pretty important program and I think it's probably the best program to go for. Um, the other programs, um, install the NG and install the 43, um, I'm going to talk about now. Uh, set patch I'll talk about later. So, install the NG and install the 43 are basically two different programs that do the same thing. So, if you're running an older version of Workbench from 3.1 or below, um, there's going to be programs that you want to install but can't simply because they're made for later versions of the workbench. So to get them to run or install you need a new installer and this will let you run and install those newer programs. So to be fair I think installer NG and installer 43 are pretty much the most important programs to get for your Amiga. Um, I would really recommend just before you're doing anything going out and getting these two programs because if, if you don't you're going to run into trouble at some point. So I always personally use Installer 43. I just, it was my first um, program that I found and then I later found NG but it doesn't matter which one you use really, they both do the same thing but here I'm going to show you how to install Installer 43. Okay, so if we click on Installer and then click on Sample Scripts and then Install Test. Now you get this little window popping up saying Unable to Open Tool. Now that's basically telling you that um, this is a later program and that you can't get it to run because you haven't got the right installer installed. Um, so what we want to do is install the newer installer which will get the newer programs to run. So if you go into the workbench, go into samples and show all files, click on the C folder because this is where we want to put the installer. And if I just make these windows a bit bigger. Now if I just scroll across to find the installer that's already on this version of Workbench there, you can see the old installer icon. And there you can see the new one, and it, it says installer, the new one. And all we do is drag it over to the C folder in Workbench. And that's basically all you do. So if we click out of these programs, and then click back into Installer 43, now go to Sample Scripts and Install Test. And now you can see it runs. So that's telling us that the um, the installer has worked, it's in the right folder and that we can 
run later programs and as you can see it says sorry it hasn't worked but basically that was just a test to tell you that the new install is installed it's working and you can run later programs so as I said it's a pretty important program Alright so now I'm going to talk about Setpatch. Now Setpatch basically is a program that um, fixes problems with the kickstart ROM so basically any issues or any bugs or whatever this basically fixes those issues so I would say it's an important program not as important as installer 43 or installer ng but it's pretty important so you go to window and show all files and what we'll want to do is we want to put check setpatch.c in the startup folder and that's the s folder now you can see that set check setpatch.c is already in there so that you want to put that icon in the s folder of workbench that's really important because it's going to direct the startup sequence to check the new set patch so if we click out of that next thing you want to do is if I just scroll over is put this new set patch icon or well it's not an icon really it's uh, mo more of a program but I'll just call it icon and you want to put that in the C folder and if I scroll across I should have already got one in there There you go, set patch is already in there, so you want to put set patch in the C folder of Workbench. And that is basically all you do. It's as simple as that. And like I said, it just updates the kickstart um, sequence and fixes any bugs. Okay, so two programs I've got to mention is Grab Kick and S Kick. Now grab kick um, and grab kick ram is one program and all these little icons that you can see is part of a program called S kick. Now these are two really important programs that you're going to need to get if you're planning on using WHD load to install your games onto your Amiga's hard drive. So I'm not going to go into too much detail about these two programs but if you want to install games you have to get these programs. So I just thought I'd mention them here. Right, well I thought I'd just talk about ID Fix 97 again. Um, if you've got or thinking about using a CD-ROM drive with your Amiga, um, whether it's internal or external, then there are several programs to go for, but I personally prefer ID Fix. It's really simple, easy to use, um, it's pretty comprehensive, it does everything you need it to do and more and it's really easy to install. Um, when you put the program onto your Amiga you'll have an icon saying ID fix and then you go to install it. Um, always keep to novice user for anything you install. So when it's properly installed you have a new ID fix icon that appears in your um, folder and that will say ID fix 97 that, that's the installed folder and then you'll use that to set up your CD-ROM drive. So I hope this has helped and thanks for watching guys.